Hello everybody! So I just wanted to do a quick video on Seesaw and how to use it and how to get the most out of it for your student. So I'm going to go to the login page, app.seesaw.me, should work just fine and the screen will pop up. And then I'm going to click I am a student. And then you're going to enter in the text code that I sent you on Dojo Messenger. And then just push the green go. And then as a student, your screen will look like this. There we go. So I can see that I have a journal that I can add to, but the most important tab is activities. I see here that I have six assignments that I need to respond to. So let's look at my March sight words assignment. I'm gonna go to add response. And this is what it will look like. So with assignments, students have the option to text to just write. So this is kind of like a paintbrush that they can write on the document to take a picture or to record. So since this is our sight words, my instructions, which are right here, are going to be to record. It says here to add response to tab record and then read all your sight words and then push that green arrow. So you're going to push the microphone. And then we're going to talk. And so they would say, how, said, for, down, little, likes, play, take, she, what, no, love, will, do, help, out, we, with, he, make, on, me, my, was. And so I'm all done. So I'm going to click the done arrow, just like that. And now that green arrow has popped up. And so I know that I am done with the assignment. So now the assignment has been posted on my site and has been sent to my teacher. So let's look back at some more activities. So when you post an assignment, it goes to your journal. Only your student can see your journal and, and I can see the journal, of course. So let's look at another activity we have here. So this one is an example of the students can type or they can um, do the paint drag feature. So here they're gonna be labeling a snake. So I'm gonna view instructions. And I have done a lot of audio instructions for the kids that, um, so they can just hear them instead of trying to read them. Please write the correct labels on the picture of the snake. So your, your instructions- Please write the correct- Your instructions will always be at the top of your page. So if I want, I could use my drag and drop tool or I can use my pen, I can use my text box. So if I use my text box, I would just go ahead and put this here. And so that's his I, so I would write I, E, Y, E. They can use phonetic spelling. It does not have to be spelled correctly. I just wanted them to get the labeling down just to keep them in practice with that. So if I was done there, I would just click my arrow and it would be posted to my journal. So with, with each of the activities, not all of them require a response. So let's look at the first one. So if it's the first one, so you're just, it's just something to get them up and moving. So I can see when they have completed it. So you would just go add response. So you could take a video of them dancing. You could do a photo of them doing it. You could do a drawing if they want of them counting to 100. They can count to 100 on the notes pad. This is kind of more of a free response. And then you would just you would just go ahead and, and link it. So if I want to do a drawing for my teacher just to show that I have completed my workout, that's all that's necessary just to show that they have done it. So that is how you answer assignments, how you log in, and how it's recorded. So this site will help me post assignments and have them recorded. So this is just if after spring break, after we do our week of e-learning with the folders does not work. They, we have this where I can still post assignments and they can still be active in their learning. If you guys have any questions at all, you can message me on Dojo. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.